Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here and we have finally done it. Three years in the making but we have tamed every single creature in Ark and we have made a massive zoo featuring all of them creatures. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be taking a walk through the park, we're going to have a look at everything we've built, show off all the creatures but that's not the main event. The main event is going to be happening on the 23rd of October 2023. We're going to be doing a live stream starting around 9 or 10 a.m eastern time go to google convert that to whatever time zone you're in but we're going to be starting around 9 or 10 a.m eastern time you know depending on what time we get everything set up so why are we doing that well we're going to be raising money for the red panda network i love red pandas they're very close to my heart they're my favorite creature they're endangered they need help so i thought this zoo this whole project uh using my platform we can come and do something good together. So how are we gonna be raising the money for them? Well, I'm gonna be selling tickets to the zoo. So you can donate however much you want. It could be $1, it could be 100, it could be 1,000, it could be a million <laughs> if you really wanted to. But any money you donate, it will get you a ticket to the zoo and you can come and walk around during the live stream. You can check out all the creatures, interact with me and stuff. And all of that money we raise is gonna to go towards the Red Panda Network, which is a charity that does a whole bunch of stuff for the Red Pandas. They have their whole little, I forget what it's called, like a con conservation area uh, obviously paying employees to look after them for red panda medical stuff just a whole bunch of stuff all dedicated to the red pandas uh, that's what we're doing this for so uh, yeah 23rd of october uh 2023 it should be a monday 9 or 10 a.m and i'll be streaming for a, a good i don't know like four or five hours so if you just want to donate just to help the pandas uh, then you know come along monday and do that um and if you want to actually come into the zoo then yeah that's how we're going to get tickets but they'll be more explained actually on the day uh because I, I struggle to get things you know i struggle to speak what's on my mind sometimes but um yeah that's what we're going to do so what we're going to do now then is we're going to hop into the world we're going to start at the start of the zoo and like i said we're going to actually just go through it and show off some stuff i do have some other little bits to talk about we've got like little uh tasks to do in the zoo to keep you all um kind of searching around and stuff so uh, yeah let's hop into it all right we're in the zoo we're about to show it all off for you so i guess before we start you know it is a youtube video go ahead and whack a like on it this video has been in the work since 2020 three years i've been working on this in the background we did some videos some live streams on it but three years we started work on this so yeah go ahead and whack a like subscribe ring the bell and have notifications you know what to do right now and uh yeah so this is where everyone is going to spawn in on the boat uh obviously because you got to get to the island so we spawn on the boat and we obviously have to uh get down there i do have to say i can't remember whose boat we like copied but i love this thing it's really cool man so i guess first thing first let's actually officially open the zoo hey there we go so you obviously come down to the docks and the big main gate opens i wish we could play music when that opens because that would be epic but yeah you step out on the dock and we uh obviously come down here we've got all these flags of all these different creatures oh by the way this video is gonna be a long video there's 150 or so dinos we're gonna have to show off so it's gonna be long if you want pause the video now go and grab a drink go and grab a snack um and just sit back and enjoy it okay right so this is the main entrance after you've been on the boat for a while you may want to come and relieve yourself so we do have a couple of bathrooms in here so you can do that after the long journey we also have a couple shops around here if i remember correctly we built all this on a live stream we've got like a shop to grab yourself a map so we've got all these like maps around here because i feel like a lot of zoos do that uh, we have a picture opportunity to be with uh, my boy here we've done a lot of this series in the rex outfit so yeah, you can stand next to the Rex, have a little picture with him. It's amazing. Uh, I think this is the plush shop, right? Or just like some random bits and pieces. It's the gift shop. We've got some little plush uh, creatures here. We've got a cupcake. We've got a Kevin, some armors and stuff. And then we do have our very first creature, which is the Lystros. We can see them just kind of walking around uh, down there. It's a nice little area. Look at this little dude. The Lystros. They have a... Uh, they're not the most exciting creature, but they're the first creature you're ever going to see. So from there, we're going to head up uh, the stairs. And this is going to be how we actually get into the park. So there's a little area you've got to queue around here. I do like the decorations we've got. I like um, the tech stuff. But yeah, we get into the car. 
like so. And this is on a track. And this is just going to take us to the entrance of the park. So below us, we do have a handful of creatures. There's a couple of Guanodons there. Uh, there's a Diplo. There's a Bronto as well. This isn't like their main enclosure, but it's just kind of a, a little wow factor as you, you're coming in. So yeah, we drive over there and we come down to this section. Uh, all these cars should be moving. Now, I think we can go inside of each other. Perfect. So that brings us down to here. So we'll also be having zoo like keepers, zoo admins that will obviously be cleaning up as people go because everyone here is a messy person. I know you are. So from there, we're going to walk down. Now, we've got this kind of lab area. Now, this was inspired by, I guess, like Jurassic Park movie where the, uh, you know, they're on that little, I don't know what it's called. They're all sat down. It's on the first movie. They're sat down and John Hammond's talking about the little ride thing. And it shows off the little lab area. It's kind of like that, except we walk through it. So you can walk through it, see kind of how we've created all of these creatures that are in the um, the zoo, I guess. And, you know, there's a bit of booba just there. But yeah, from there, you come out. And then this is the main entrance to the park. So obviously this gate will be open because we are officially open right now. And this is how you come and show off your ticket. So we've got like another little area you'd queue to get into the park this is where you'd purchase your ticket from boom and now you are allowed in to the park and we do have a cafe right next to us i almost forgot about this we have a cafe if you want to stop real quick for a drink we do have the what's this dude called the big giant turtle the met met Calon dude if we backspace here we should be able to see him yeah the mega the mega chameleon you can actually eat and sit on the back of him. He's a whole ass shop. Look at him just chilling down there. So yeah, this dude will sell you food. You can come, have yourself a little coffee or whatnot before you get started. Get yourself hydrated and uh, yeah, then enter the zoo for real. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff that people have seen. Things may have changed. There's going to be new stuff. So um, I guess just enjoy yourself. Uh, right, before we show the main stuff off, there are going to be tasks during the live stream, which I will go over again on the live stream. But we have sort of an end goal uh, up in the snow. There's going to be a room. There's going to be code locked. There are four numbers hidden around the park. Now, they're not like... They're all on the... What are they called? The beaten path. Is that what it's called? So they're not going to be like, you know, jumping over here and there's going to be a number around here. They're all somewhere you're meant to be walking around. So there's four numbers to find. And there's also five tiny cupcake taxidermies to find as well. So it's kind of gives reason for people to walk around the zoo and explore everywhere and then there's also a hidden area which we're not going to show off today or maybe we'll do a sneak peek towards the end but there's a hidden area that i'm going to hope some people find as well but anyways so before we go to the main park we do have this little side area just here which is home to the pelagornas now again once we have the zookeepers in here things are going to look a little better because these dudes will actually fly around if we get them in here perfectly but if you go out of render, sometimes they will leave the like out the ceiling. So you just got to be careful with them. I thought I'd just keep them all kind of in here for now. But yeah, a nice little like birdhouse for the Pelagornas. And uh, they've got a nice little water bit just down there. So that's the Pelagornas. And then obviously we can come out here. And yeah, the big main entrance. So we have uh, my area. This is where the whole thing started. This little tiny place you're not gonna have to go in there that's just for show but we've got a cupcake we've got good old kevin here as well so yeah now we can start looking at some creatures so we do have a snails the first dino we ever tamed on the series they're just chilling in there looking amazing we have this beautiful fountain which i love as a centerpiece just here we've got a statue of the real kevin before the wolves got him so he's chilling in here so this side We've got some gachas. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on each creature, because otherwise this video might be seven hours long, but I would like show off as much as I can. So we've got some gachas, some crystals in there and stuff. If we come over to the other side real quick, we have a little like deserty area. This is a small desert area. Uh, we do have the ducks in here. We have the Hesperonis stuff. Uh, I've also got a Jaboa that's actually escaped from one side to the other. <laughs> Again, that's what the zookeepers are going to be for. Uh, this one will be full of Jaboas. So we've got like Jaboas. We've got the Hesperonis chilling in there. And then we do have a couple signs around the park. I didn't want to go crazy with them, but there's enough to kind of show where areas are. So we've got the flies, the grasslands, the safari. We've got the swamp, the redwoods, and the snow over there. And then there's also a sign over here saying the underwater, creepy crawlies, and the swamp. 
Um, but yeah, right in the middle, we do have our moth. I wanted to kind of make like a, a big... I know they're not butterflies, but you know, like a butterfly vibe area. So they've got this like big... I don't know what this is, an octagon area. Uh, now we can sometimes make him fly around. I'll definitely try and get that done again. But I love the tree in the middle, all the lights, all the foliage. It's beautiful. So yeah, we do have the underwater walkway, which I think we're going to do on the way back back because there's two different areas but we do have this little water section here this is where you can pet the stingrays so obviously you can't really but you can pretend you have to hear and just kind of like touch the stingrays uh you can get real close to them over this side this was one of the first waterways we made but this should have like anglerfish blowers and just kind of other little water creatures uh, you can normally just see them like chilling down here. I think it's some of the sea scorpions. But yeah, I don't know. I really liked the way this is just like all... I don't know. It's only a little section over there. So we do have the creepy crawlies, which we won't go through just yet. Um, all right. So we do have down here, we've got all of our glow pets. So in there, I think there's the bulb dog. Yeah, I see him just there. The bulb dog, we've got maybe feather light, uh, glow tail, and the shine horn. They're all in there somewhere. I see the shine horn there shine horns head poking through um over here we just got some little vendors so they're just sending all kinds types of food and stuff uh, I, I loved making these i don't know why i just think they look really cool so they're all selling different types of food we do have a dodo walkway so you can actually come in make sure you shut the gate behind you and interact with all the dodos i don't know why i just love this little walkthrough area just here they've got like a little nest going on just doing dodo stuff I love that. And then you can come through the back here. Um, over here, we have the Dodex. Now, a lot of these creatures are not moving at the minute. Um, once we have our zookeepers here and the live stream starting, every creature is going to be on Wonder. It's just going to be easy to keep track of them all. So if some of them aren't moving, don't worry. They will be uh, when the park's mainly opened. Uh, we do have a random Bronto skelly there because I thought it looked cool. Uh, I guess we should show off this real quick. We do have like a little park if you just want to play on the swings or shoot yourself out of cannon or go on the ferris wheel we do have that we've got a seesaw as well um yeah just a little area to play on a little playhouse <laughs> it's for the kids we had to make that for the kids so we've got that little area which i think is pretty cool um over here we do have our turtles uh these should be on wondering nope all right apparently not today <laughs> so we have our turtles now this leads up to the flyers we'll go and look up there in a, a hot minute as well we're just going to continue uh down here there's no real like singular pathway around here so it's kind of i don't know it's difficult to show off but over here we've got the megalania who i i don't know why i love his enclosure but we can see him through that way but we can also come through the food court so you can come here and sit down and grab yourselves all different types of food we've got like steaks we've got little microwave meals um i don't know whatever he's cooking but we've also got this little window here, which you can see the Megalania. And then from the other side, we have compies in there, which you can actually see one running around. Look at that. So we have compies sitting here. So you can sit, eat your lunch, and still be like watching dinosaurs and stuff. So I think that's really cool. I, I built this really early on. Really liked that. Um, okay, let's go through the creepy crawly section. Because then that's going to bring us out to the swamp. Actually, let's just quickly look at this stuff. Uh, so this is the hyena don, who he's um, he's been a little a little stupid. <laughs> he's just chilling up there. But yeah, we've got some like little dog houses, a little area for the hyena dons to walk around. Over here is the red pandas. Now this is the only modded creature we've got on this park, but we needed red pandas here somehow. So as you can see, there's one down there, and then I think the other one's over this way somewhere. Um, I'm not sure whereabouts is. There he is. We have another red panda down here. So yeah, we do have some red pandas. Absolutely love their enclosure. I feel like I did a really good job on that. It's got loads of bamboo and stuff around it. It's nice and lush. They've got little climbing areas. So um, yeah, that's the red pandas because of course I've got to have them. This is what we're doing this for. So let's go head through the creepy crawly section. Now this is completely based off of a zoos I've been to where they have snakes insects and all that kind of stuff in like a little dark area so if we come in here make sure the door is shut behind us in here we have spiders now the issue with these guys is you can't have dinos wonder if they're on foundations so unfortunately these don't move around but when you go to a zoo and you see this stuff 
the insects don't normally move around. They normally just sit there, right? How often do you see a spider going a thousand miles an hour? Not that often. So, dung beetle. We've got the spiders. As we press on, we've got the bees. We've got a bee in there. Uh, we've got an arthro chilling in there. Very creepy enclosure. We've got a, a scorpion in that one. And then if we do come down this way, we have the Karkonos who has his own like giant enclosure. Now he does wander around sometimes when he's not trying to escape. So he's got like a massive whole area. Uh, so yeah, Arthur over that way. Over here, we've got something that might, I don't know. It might be under the ground somewhere. There's definitely something there. Uh, we've got the Meganera. Uh, we've got the ants. There might be a glow bug that was meant to be in there, actually. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Uh, in here, we've got the snake, which is hiding with its eggs, hiding against the log. Uh, just a little area just there. Uh, we've got the, what they're called, lampreys. In here, we've got a jug bug. In here, we've got a mantis. Now, this dude will also wander around. Love his enclosure. Really cool. Um, yeah, jug bugs. Uh, in here, we've got leeches, and we do have the exit. But before we go to the exit, we do have this little area just up here. So if you wanted to kind of have a look um, just kind of round or maybe even look down at the red pandas, you can also do that from up here as well. Just like a little bridgeway, just a little extra place to look around and stuff. I just, I don't know why I just kind of liked that. So uh, yeah, you can pass through all the way over here, and this brings you out to the swamp. So I guess we'll go from the swamp area and work our way around there. So we do have this. Now this is going to be interesting to see how it works, but this is the swimming with dolphins area. So we have this whole area here dedicated to just the dolphins. So you can come, you can grab a scuba gear, and there's going to be dolphins saddled up and ready to go. So yeah, what you can do is you can get on a dolphin and kind of just chill and swim around here. Just... I don't know why. I just feel like that's really cool because you can always do that swim with dolphins in certain countries and we really are swimming with dolphins right now, swimming on a dolphin. So yeah, you can uh, hire a dolphin out, go around, swim on that. I, I think that's really cool. Just uh, a little like interaction for everyone. So we've got swim with dolphins there and then we actually enter into the swamp zone. So over here we have our baryonics in a little swampy area. We've got all the trees around here. Uh, next up, we have the Diplocolus, which is a little interesting one because you can actually come inside here. Uh, <laughs> there he is. God, them things are gross, man. But yeah, you can come down here. You can like see him swimming around. Or you can actually come underwater. And I think there's one just there. And these will be swimming around, um, kind of around and behind you and stuff. We've also got a frog in here who shouldn't be in here. Um, again, zookeepers. <laughs> we'll sort that out. Um, so yeah, we've got the Diplocolus uh, up here. We do have the area to the redwoods, but we're going to kind of loop around and we'll look at that in a minute. Um, so next up, we should have the frogs. Uh, that's where the frogs should be. So we've got the frogs in there. Uh, over here, we have the bloodstalker, maybe. Um, I know he's in there somewhere. Or maybe the bloodstalker. Oh, there he is. Yep, we've got the bloodstalker. He's chilling in the corner right now. Um, opposite that, we do have a little rest stop. This is the, the pub. This is a little bike. You can come and grab a, a swamp drink. Uh, you can actually look over here as well. And there will be fish in there. We're going to have cedar camp. We're going to have saber teeth. Um, piranha maybe. I had to remove them for the time being. But they'll be there when the park opens. So that's the little bar area. Really liked that. That was fun building. Got some taxidermies and stuff. So yeah, we've got the bloodstalk over there. Of all these trees. Over this way, we have what's in here. Oh, we've got the cat pros in here couple capros um looking over this way we've got some dilophosauruses in that section next to them we have an iguanodon uh next to the capros we have the spino now his enclosure doesn't look that big but it goes far back so we can actually like come out the water and come towards you uh next to him we have the sarco who would literally sit there and just bask all day um over here we've got the paraceratherium chilling in there Looking really cool. And then we do have one of my favorite enclosures. This is the Megalosaurus enclosure. Now, because it's sort of a cave dino, we actually built a whole cave around him. And I think that's really cool looking. So we've got a whole cave built for the Mega Megalosaurus. Definitely my favorite enclosure. So from there, we can actually go through the waterway. Um, we could do that now. Let's do that now. So this leads to the other side of the park. So what you do in here is you actually walk through this. 
And we're going to be actually underwater with some of the water dinos. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> a Dunkley right below us. We've got the Plesiosaur as well. So you're able to walk here. These dudes will be swimming around. Uh, that shark shouldn't be there, so ignore him. But then, yeah, then you come to like the sharks. Uh, we're going to have other areas and places you can go. So we can have a good look at all the sharks here. Pretty much all the water creatures... Uh, there's a Basilio, so you can come down all of these and loop around and see everything that's going on. Uh, we're going to have eels, there's mantas, uh, everything you want. Every water creature you could tame is going to be in here somewhere. And then this leads around to the squids. Yeah, there they are. You can see them down there. This leads all the way around to the squids. We've got a big like square area to see them. Now, the only water creature we're not going to see is the Mosa, because that's in its whole separate location. But, yeah, this leads all the way back to the very start. Now, I do expect people to get lost, because it's a big zoo. But um, that's not a bad thing, because you've also got to be looking for them numbers in the cupcake, tiny cupcake things, remember? So, if we walk out of the waterway and continue round here, we then walk into our desert section area. So, we've kind of gone proper desert themed around here. So first off, we do have the Dimetrodon. Now, originally they were in the swamp. We actually built them and put them in the swamp. But we ran out of space to put the Spino and the Sarko. So I actually moved these to the desert because these dudes actually also live in like arid areas. So they also work here, which I think is pretty cool. Across from them, we have Big Rock Elemental. We've got the Big Rock dude just chilling there. Uh, we're going to check that area out in a hot second. But next to them, we have the Fawny Dragons, which... For some reason, I just love their enclosure. I love the big window here. I just love the whole area they've got going on. And then from there, we actually have a desert walkthrough. So in here, we have vultures and we also have some extra jaboas. So this is just an area you can walk in. You're not going to be eaten by creatures. You can kind of just like experience a bit of desert. Um, from here, you can see sometimes <laughs> the Volonosaurs through this window. If you can't see them through there, you can exit the desert walkway and see the Velonosaurs through this way. But this leads to the Mosa area. So there's two ways in. You can Actually, there's three ways in. You can come from here, that little area just there where the little Mosa is, or around the other side. But this leads to the Mosa feeding area. Now, if you've watched Jurassic World, which is the fourth movie, this is heavily based off of that, entirely based off of that. But this is going to be an area where, you know, you would sit or stand and... In theory, obviously, it's not going to happen, but the most would jump up and grab that shark that's hanging there. Now, obviously, you can stand or sit and watch there. Or if you make your way around the back, there's actually an underwater viewing area. Again, based off the movie, because their chairs or their seating area actually goes underwater. But here, you can actually walk down and you can see the most. So he's normally swimming around. Uh, we do have like dead carcasses all down here for all the creatures that he's been eating. The most is a very hungry boy. So, uh, yeah, that's the whole Mosa area. He has a lot going on. So, yeah, like I said, you can exit this way. Come back up here. You can then go through the waterway if you've not already. But from here, we're going to head up to the Redwoods. So, to get to the Redwoods, we're going to need to use another car system. So, this little area just here will say, you know, to the Redwoods, to the snow. Uh, we can actually come up here. I do love how this is kind of um, covered by a lot of the, the swamp, like, foliage sort of deal. So, from here... Uh, we're going to go on another little uh, drive. Now, this one's a little different. This has, like, animatronics. So this drive, you're going to see taxidermies moving around, making noise and stuff. So we've got, like, Paraceratheriums. It's kind of like, you know, see if you can spot every dino sort of deal. So, yeah, there's the moose. There's a fighter over there. We've got a Megatherium. The Diplo. There's a beaver. My favorite, it's the bear that waves to you as you drive past. Love that. Uh, up top, another terror bird chilling. Uh, got a Mr. Gorilla just here. And then we come to a queue of cars. But yeah, it doesn't matter because you can just go straight from. So yeah, you park up wherever you feel like it. Now, this is probably my least favorite part of the whole park. But I couldn't think of a, another way to do it without adding more cars. And I didn't want to do that. So this is a massive walkway. Now... I, I don't like it just because you've got to do so much walking. But at the same time, like, I guess it builds suspense, maybe? I, I don't know. It's just like, I mean, it's not even that much of a walk. But you've got to get up the mountain somehow, right? And you can't just build, like, a straight... 
I don't know. I wouldn't want to do a ladder. This just seems more natural. But yeah, it takes like, what, 30 seconds? But once you're up there, you walk into this little area, which I don't know what to call this. Uh, it's just an area where we just ha have like chibis, taxidermies. But then we do have pegos. We got pegos just chilling in there. They've got boxes of things they've stolen and just kind of, you know, hiding their items around. Um, over the other side, some more taxidermies. We have the view of Ragnarok. We can see the lighthouse all the way over there. And then over here, we do have the little monkeys, which I love their enclosure. I don't know why. Their enclosure just excites me. It looks really cool. And then from there, we've got some more taxidermies. We actually go to the Maywing walkthrough. So through here, we walk through the little Maywing area. So you can come, you can pet them. Uh, touch their nipples if you want but this is a massive walkway you go all the way to the end here again once we have our zookeepers there'll probably be more may wings they love to escape they jump over the fences all the time love to escape but from there we enter the redwood area and this area here might be i'm gonna keep saying it but it might be one of my favorites so we walk and we have this big giant fountain we have some like stones that just surround it so to the left of us uh, also, we have a sign saying the snow is that way. To the left of us, we have the um, Megatheriums, complete with some Meganera because they like to eat bugs. Uh, and then I guess we'll go over to this way. So over here, we have the Phyla. You can see him just down there drinking some water. Uh, a nice covered area. And then from there, we have two different sections. We have the Seekers that are chilling in there somewhere. We can see them from this way. Or... We come into the monkey house or the gorilla house. There's actually one in here. So this is inspired by, you know, monkey enclosures. They always have their outdoor area, but they also have an indoor area where they can come and like get out of the weather and just kind of chill around and vibe. But yeah, you can also come out of here and we'll have seekers in there, which I think actually despawn. So again, once the zookeepers are here, they'll be able to keep on top of that. But you can also have a look at the monkeys from out here when they're doing outside stuff. But we also have roll rats just chilling. We've got all their honey knocking about. We've got the mushrooms. So a nice little like vibe going on there. I don't know why this little area here is just, it's nice. It's just a nice little area. But yeah, from there, we can come back out from here. See the fire just still chilling down there. Uh, yeah, so mega fairiums. And then next up, we have a couple of dire bears chilling there. And then... We have our redwood pit stop. So there's like a pit stop in every area to do whatever. So in here, we have this section which leads up. Uh, this is going to go to a redwood tree. And we're going to be able to kind of see things from a little higher up. Now, as you can see, there's stuff all the way back there we're going to be able to see. But we can see some daydons. We can see some bears. Uh, just, you know, a different perspective of stuff really so on the way back down you can obviously grab a bite to eat there's also uh stairs if you want to go sit up top there and eat but over here we have the otter area now i think all the otters actually escaped so they they are normally in here again zookeepers will keep track of that but we're going to be able to see them swimming all around below us they actually do climb up on top of them rocks it's amazing but yeah we're going to be able to just kind of like walk over the otters and see them you can actually look at these windows and see them against the walls and stuff Really cool. Uh, really like that area just there. So that's like the pit stop. So over here, uh, I mean, we saw it a minute ago, but we have the Daedons. They're all kind of huddled up at the minute. We've got the snow area over there we're going to look at in a minute because we have this area, which is very fiery, as you can see. So we can walk through here. Now, there's two ways. We can either go left, which we'll do in a minute, or we continue through here. And this brings us out like a little fiery area we have the phoenix enclosure which looks so sick with the lava flowing around love that uh we also have terror birds that are all along here there's some more terror birds uh maybe more terror birds there's none here we then do have the monkeys uh the dinopithecus they like to chill out at the back here but then we also have this section just here which you can come and see the magmasaur i struggled to fit the magmasaur into an area so we went for like a redwood creepy area um but yeah he's here you're protected you know you, it's heat protection you can see him without burning yourself so from here we can actually go into this next area which i like to call the creepy area so where's me door so if we come through this way as you can see loads of mushrooms and stuff um over here 
Uh, there's actually Noglins. If we backspace, you can actually see them there. Again, they'll be walking around. Uh, I can actually see the back of the head of one there. We've got Noglins in there. We've got a Polovia in there. We've got a Shadow Mane chilling in that section. Over in this section, we've got sort of Ravagers. And then, obviously, the big creepy stuff. We've got a Reaper. Knock it about that one. And we have a Rock Drake. So, it was hard to create an aberration area but i feel like this is the best i've done so it's not just aberration it's more of the creepier yeah like the creepier creatures like the shadow mains the ravagers the reapers i feel like they all they all fit into one vibe so that's the creepy area just there that's where all that stuff happens so from there we then go into the next section which is gonna be the snow so we have another track area this time we're on um, a weird platform thing because i wanted to do something different but this one is going to take us all the way up here. So I added a random dino here just so it wasn't like so boring to get to the snow. But to the right of us here, we're going to have some of the um, the X or the R Rexes. They're just going to knock about there. That's not the real Rex enclosure. We actually have one that's a little better. We'll get around to that, obviously. But uh, yeah, we could just like drive past them. We're going to see Rexes knocking about. I think that's going to be like just real cool, especially if they're that close. So this is going to go all the way over to this section. So these gates should open for us just like that. And then we can uh, stop off just here. So yeah, we get off here and then there's a little walkway because over here we have Fenrir's. So the Fenrir's are just out of the snow because I wanted a snow slash redwood biome so there's like two or three of them in there somewhere obviously it's a zoo you've got to find them we can see a butt of one just there we also have a little pit stop just in here if you just want to quickly grab yourself some food maybe grab some fur armor and stuff uh you can also kind of look out here see people coming and going and then from there we're actually going to head up into the actual snow area so again we get onto another a wagon whatever this thing actually is and we're going to stop just here. That seems perfect. And we get off. And now we're in to the snow area. So, as you can see, we have the dire wolves there. Uh, they do have a little cave at the back, which I really like. So that's all the dire wolves. We do have another little pit stop here. This this is the bathrooms. Uh, you can just come in here and just uh, have a door open. There we go. You can sit and have a, a little poo if you need to. It's probably been a while since we've stopped here. Make sure you wash your hands before you leave. So, uh, yeah, there's the Die Wolves. Next one, we have the Megaloceros, which is up there with one of my favorite enclosures for some reason. I just love the lights and just the vibe that's going on. So you can kind of have a look at them all the way around. They've got windows everywhere. Uh, up here, we do have something really cool. So this is the Snow Owl house. So you actually have to go inside. And there's a couple Snow Owls just chilling here. And if they get close enough, you can actually pet them, which is really cool. But I didn't want them just out in the open. I wanted to give them a, something a little different. So they actually have a snow owl house, which I think looks really cool. I don't know about you, lot. I think that looks really cool. Over here, we've got the saber tooth, which we can actually go and see them from the top. Uh, let me just go around here, see if we can see them here. I don't know whereabouts they are today. They're somewhere. But then we do have this building just here, which is um, the area you will need to unlock when you find all the codes. I'm not going to spoil what's inside. But um, yeah, that, that's what you need to get into. Let's go have a look at the saber tooth. So yeah, you walk all the way around here and then it brings you to this little area and you can uh, just kind of look at the saber tooth from a safe area. Some like a little, you know, a little different perspective again. So from there then, we're going to head into the Ferox area where, uh, you know, no element past this point. We know why, because the Ferox will grow big and scary. We don't want that. So you can actually come in here because why would you not want to snuggle with one of these little guys? I know they have weird extra arms, but look how freaking cute they are. So yeah, you're actually allowed in here and you can actually pet and snuggle with the Ferox. Now, what I did do is you can see out here. I feel like the Feroxes should be able to see out, but you can't actually see in. Because I feel like you could tease them with uh, Element if you knew they were in there or something. I don't know. I just thought I'd do something a little different. But uh, yeah, that's the Ferox. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of work our way around. So from there, we actually come down to this little area. Uh, this is where the Mammoths are. Now, this here, I built this whole thing. I placed every rock, every plant, the Mammoth, all of the fences and stuff. 
I love it. I think that is such a good centerpiece. Let me just fly up and show you from above. Like, I don't know why. I just really like that. I just think I did a really good job. Just pat myself on the back. But yeah, I, I like that. But anyways, <laughs> the mammoths. We have this big area to be able to see them. Because obviously they're the big boys. They're knocking about. They don't have much foliage in there. I think they've got the trees. They've got a couple like things to eat and stuff. I didn't want to overcrowd them too much. But that's the mammoths. From there, we can actually make our way up here to where the woolly rhinos are. Um, I did have a little baby explosion because I forgot to neuter one of these dudes. So the other day, there was just baby rhinos everywhere. But that's been taken care of. Uh, yeah, you can see the rhinos from there. You can then also walk around and have a different view of the rhinos. Uh, so you can actually see them from up here. You can also have a little sit down. And then obviously, you can make your way down here. We'll check out that building there in a hot second. Let's just keep going around the side. So next up, we have the Managama, which has... Oh, God, he's like inside. Uh, let's have a look from the other side. Um, you can actually see him from obviously here, or you can go and see these little pods we have, which means you can actually like just kind of go inside and see him from different angles and stuff, uh, which I really like. I think that's really cool uh, when he's not actually glitched inside. So next up, we do have the Uteranus. Now, we built this whole thing on stream, and it is it is the best enclosure. So obviously, we've got all the foliage and stuff there, keeping them hidden. But we do have that random Megaloceros there. That's, that's all weird, right? So what we can do is it actually should be up here. Don't stand on this, Mr. Dude. Can you go somewhere else? Is that going to get you? Are we all good? All right, so what it's meant to do is this moose is actually going to be up top here. Um, we're going we're gonna to feed it to the UT is what we're going to do. But yeah, you can actually come up here, have a look down on the UT. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to, you press this button here and you lower the moose down. It's kind of inspired by Jurassic Park with the goat, but we can feed it a moose. Now, he's not obviously really going to eat it, but it's, you know, make believe. Use your imagination. I think that's really cool. We got that working such a cool little thing so that's you tyrannus uh we've got one more uh like snowy vibey creature to show off and that's the penguins so down here we actually have the penguins which we'll be able to see them from here they actually do come up on land when they're all not bundled up in a little group but we have a big pit stop here in the snow where you can grab some food grab yourself a hot chocolate sit by the fire chill out be all nice and well don't chill out warm up in fact but yeah, you can come out here again, kind of like with the otters. The penguins are going to be swimming below you. I think they're all just... Oh, no, they are moving a little. They're normally all glitched out in the corner, but again, zookeepers will help us with that. But yeah, the penguins are all around here. They swim underneath you. They knock about and stuff. It's, uh, it's really cool looking. And I do like this area as well. It's very warm and cozy looking with all the fires going. Everyone's in fur armor. But uh, yeah, that is the snow area. So what we're going to do, we're going to make our way back down. Uh, we're going to go all the way back to the start because we've now got to go to the grasslands. All right, so we're back to like the starting beach area. So what we're going to do, we're going to head up to the grasslands using our car. Now, there is a way up to the flyers from here, but we're going to go a different way using that. So we'll check that out in a little bit. So obviously, we're going to get into our car. We do have some uh, workers to the left of us. Look at them working really hard. So this is going to take us up to the grasslands. Now, this track was, I think it was the first track we actually built. So it's a little wonky but it gets the job done uh oh gate in the way um dinosaur also in the way again once the zookeepers are here they'll be able to clean it up a little because yeah arc is arc and dinos can walk straight through gates even when you have them all leached up same with the trudons just there but yeah this is the grassland so this is kind of the big main area there's loads of different ways to go around here so we're kind of gonna have to I don't know. I'll just do my best to show off exactly what we've got. But first off, we do have a little pit stop shop. Now, this is where you'd buy all your plushies, um, all your head trophies that you would take home with you. We've got a beautiful little bulb dog chilling there. Uh, got some of the glow pets and stuff, um, some big heads and things. Uh, we can actually see the Marauder Tops through here as well. So you can actually get a glimpse of one of the dinosaurs, which I think is really cool. So coming around here, we'll go left and work our way all the way around right. Like I said, Marauder Tops are chilling down there. Now, they should be in the desert, but uh, wasn't really that much room. And I kind of liked them up in the grassland area here. They've got a desert vibe, but they work, I think, here. We then have the Basilisk. 
Now, this dude's way out of place, but we built him up here very early on in the series, and I just left him here. He could be with where the Reaper is and stuff, but I don't know. I just, I mean, he works. It's fine. It works there. Next to him, though, we do have the car child. So he has a very big enclosure because we don't want this dude to rage and like attack us. So we've got this big area here where you can come in. Obviously, very strong, protective glass um, and yeah, there's the car child walking around there. We've got some bones and stuff. If we continue on our left, we should have some Dianonychus, uh, complete with nests, because obviously that's how you tame them in Ark. So we've got the nests there. Uh, and then if we're moving up a little further, we do have, uh, I think it's Trudons are in here. They are somewhere. There's definitely a Trudons. There's also a Dodo locked in the cage, because that's what the Trudons like to be. Actually, I see them way back down there so we do have a way up here that's the way we're actually going to come uh, a bit later on but if we walk all the way around here as you can see we have the brontos with a very very big enclosure because obviously they're big boys um over here we do have trudons actually wait these are trudons i don't know what's over there there's <laughs> there's some form of creatures over there but i don't know what it is i can't remember uh we've got trudons in here uh, let's keep going around this way, actually. We've got some bathrooms uh, through here, if you need to go and pee. Got the fish, another fish is the genders. Um, so, yeah, more Trudons chilling in there. We have the Packy Rhinos knocking about in here, but as, as we saw, they're all kind of down near the tracks. Um, I'm trying to just work out the best way to show all this off, because I need to go up there as well. Um, I guess I can show what this is. So, you can actually come up here. And this is going to be a glide or a zip line thing, which goes all the way back down to the start. But it's kind of like just a little bit of fun. So you can actually come up here and you can zip line down to that tree. And then from that tree to that tree. And then from that tree, you go all the way down to where I'm punching. It's like a soft little carpet area. I'm not going to show that off. You lot can all experience that for yourselves when you get here. But if you are coming back out this way, we do have another cave that I built. So in this cave, we do have the Des Desmodis, however we say it. I can actually see his head poking for a rock. Um, sir, that's not how you do enclosures. Uh, he does walk around. Again, good old Ark. He likes to glitch creatures out. It's really dumb and annoying. But uh, <laughs> there he is in his rocks. Uh, so over to this side, we do have the Shallies. I guess actually we'll come back down here. We have the Shallies over this side, uh, just chilling. To the left of us, we have the Beavers, complete with water. Uh, we can actually go above the Beavers and have a, a look down on them, which I think is really cool. Uh, and then we can actually come down this side, which we might as well do. Over this side, we have the Carnos, um, another early kind of enclosure we built. We've got a couple Carnos there. Over here, now that bat is a little high up. He shouldn't be that high. We have his bat cave, which we can see from either side. Uh, again, zookeepers will be able to put the bats down there. But we have, some, we have some bats down that way. If we continue our way around, we've got a couple parasaurs. Uh, not the most exciting creature, but some parasaurs chilling in there. Over here, we do have another little stop bar area where you can come and grab yourself a drink. You can also come and actually like sit out here. And um, just kind of look over what's going on. If we leave the bar right in front of us, we do have the Kentros. Uh, we've got the dude with the pink uh, spikes as well. Uh, we've got the aloes over that way. I guess if we come back down here around this way, uh, we do need to come back around here for the flyers. But we do have our tech striders chilling up there. And they will not fall off the cliff. Do not worry. It looks like they will, but they won't. So they've got this massive area to kind of like knock about, walk around on. Um, I guess we'll come back to this bit. This, uh, like I said, this bit's just a, a whole maze of just dinos everywhere. So if we come back down to the Parasaurs, let's have a look around here. We have the Amargosaurus next to them, uh, which has multiple little areas to look around. Really cool. Uh, from here, we have the Diplos, which we can actually come down and feed them. There's only one at the minute, but I think I'm going to add a second one. So we've got the Diplo here. He'll walk around. You can use one of these and, like, grab some bread or whatever a Diplo wants to eat. I don't know. But, yeah, you can feed a Diplo 
from these feeding platforms. If we make our way back up, we do have... What do we got over here? We've got the Andrews, haven't we? We've got the Andrews over here. Uh, so we can either look from there or we can like technically like come inside of the enclosure. And you can see them down there. From here, we have the Raptors. Uh, I'll show you from up top. We can actually go through the Raptor enclosure. You can see them all below us. You can obviously look out the windows and see the pack from knocking about. But high security raptors, obviously we can't really get up close and personal. So the best thing we can do is walking above them or having a little look just down this way. Walking just past the Carnos, we do have our over raptors. They're knocking about in there with their eggs. Next to them, we've got the Verazino in a, a sort of a swampy vibe. Uh, I kind of based that on uh, the, the newest Jurassic Park movie, uh, Dominion, wherever it was, where it was like in that swampy area. I kind of liked that. We do have an area where you can have a look at the Verrazino from above. We've got a sort of like watchtower. So you can kind of look down. It's like a foresty, swampy area. You can see him down there. But if we run past the Trudons, we do have this taxidermy area. So this is an area where I've just placed a bunch of taxidermies, a bunch of chibis. You can come and get like a real good look at some of the dinos. If you've never seen them like real up close and personal, you can come here, have a look at them all. And then this leads to a couple different areas. We can actually come out this way. Uh, we can actually go all the way around. Or the best thing is actually to come out here. Um, over here, we do have the Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, I think one's actually escapes. Good shit. <laughs> we have the Pachycephalosaurus down here. We also have a way up there, which we can do. Or we come over to the Rexes. So we can either come down here and have a look at the Rexes, which is all good and fine. But who doesn't want a bird's eye view? So you can take this lift. This is going to take us up to the top of the tree. And then that means we're going to be able to look down um, on the Rexes, get a bit more... Close and personal. I mean, it's not too close and personal. Can't, like, actually get a hand bitten off. But we can come up here, especially if they're in the corner and stuff. And you'll be able to, like, see them. Like, he's right below us. Imagine in real life. Obviously, there'll be someone dumb and they'll climb the fence and get themselves killed. But, like, being able to get a photo opportunity from, like, up here at a Rex. I think that'd be really sick. So, um, yeah, we got that. If we go opposite of the Rexes, we do have some Stegos here. And from here, we can actually go above the Stegos. Again, great photo opportunity just there for us. We can then also follow this round. And we're now above the trikes. So we've got the trikes and the Stegos sort of connected. Uh, we can see both of them. And if we continue following this around, we then get led to the uh, exit of the taxidermies. But we also have the Yankees down here. They have been moved. They used to be all the way over there, but they're now down here. So from here, we've got a couple different ways to go. Uh, I guess we'll head back down this way because we need to show off our horses. We've got the Equus. We've also got the Unicorns. Uh, we've actually got one inside for a change. He's a little stuck. Um, but yeah, we have the horse stables just here. But you can also see the horses uh, from obviously like the fences. We've got a Unicorn right in front of us. Uh, that's really cool. From there, we can then actually go into this building. This is a place that's just going to sell armors and clothing and stuff. Um, they're just kind of dotted around. But if we go through this gate here, we have the galley walk. So we have a little pathway. We're meant to stay between the, the rocks. And um, yeah, there's galleys knocking about. And you can just kind of walk around and uh, interact with them a little bit. They do run around sometimes. I had to stop them because these escaped the most. There are literally 20 galleys running around this map somewhere because they've just escaped all the time. So from the galleys, we then have the big giant insect dude. Now, he was way too big to put in the creepy crawly section. And also he got added way after I did all the creepy crawly stuff. So he's got his own little... I don't even know what type of enclosure you'd count that as. Just a a place to be i guess um from there we got another little look at where the diplos are we can then come up this way we've got a watchtower because right here assigned to the safari park we have the giga now i remember building this saying we built this a hundred percent based off the indominus rex um well we, it's not really an enclosure but the indominus rex thing where you stand and have this big strong glass and you can look out at him. So the Giga's behind very protective walls. 
we can then walk through this and that takes us to the safari but before we do that there's one more little thing we need to show uh this is the petting zoo so we can actually come in here and we've got shine horns we've got sheeps uh we've got fiomias do we have anything else? Oh, we've got a couple of horses. This is the petting zoo. You can come here and just kind of interact with some of, like, the farmyard animals. Uh, got to make sure we shut the door behind us. Uh, people ask for a petting zoo. I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, from the petting zoo, we then can come down to here. So this is going to be the safari. So I've not 100% finished this right now. None of the dinosaurs are on wonder. I've still just got to work out what dinos we're having where. That's why I've got these red light um, circles everywhere. But we've got a bunch of different dinos. Galleys, we've got Dodigs, we've got Iguanodons, Mosh Chops, uh, Parasaurs. There's a couple of us in there. You're going to have to spot them all. But yeah, you can drive as fast or as slow as you want. Uh, again, all these red circles will disappear. Don't worry. Uh, it's just so I can figure out where we want certain dinos and all that kind of jazz. But uh, yeah, a bunch of different dinos here. So this is the Safari. And then we come down to here. So you can get off your car, walk down to this way. And that's where our big boy, the Titanosaur is. Look at him in all his glory. Again, he'll be walking around, I'm sure, getting into all sort of mischief. So from here, we have two different ways. We can either go over here or this way. Uh, let's start over this way. This is where the Wyverns are going to be. Now, I struggled to figure out what to do with the wyverns because i wanted them in their actual natural habitat but it's too far away from the park so we've built this little area here so we've got windows where we can see a couple of them sitting down and around but if we come to this elevator it's going to bring us up into a tower now this tower looks amazing i think i did a really good job but from here Again, we're going to be able to see the wyverns that were sitting around and stuff. Uh, we can also see below us where the uh, lightning one is. But on the beach, we've also got a couple other wyverns that just kind of knock about. So it's kind of like, can I spot them all? So we've got one of each. Uh, poison, fire, lightning, snow. Uh, we've got the void wyvern. There's also a crystal wyvern and a blood ember one. So they're all knocking about. Um... Like I said, I really, really struggled with the wyverns. I would have loved to put them flying around a cave and stuff, but they won't fly when they're on wonder because Ark doesn't do that, and the caves are way too far away. So I've just kind of done the best I can with them. So from that, we do have this little area here, kind of another pit stop. You know, if you're hungry, thirsty, whatever, you can come in here, grab yourself some food. Uh, we've just got some, like, taxidermy, some mounted hell, uh, mounted thingy me doodles there but also from here you can actually come up uh follow this round and we're back into the treetops uh some redwood trees which we can use to see the titanosaur a little up close and personal again so uh yeah i feel like that makes really good use for them we've got like the redwood vibe going on, on around there we could also use this to see some wyverns as well so it's kind of two birds one stone two wyverns one stone however you want to call it so um yeah that's the like bottom section so we've got one more section to show off so if we walk through the grasslands again just past where the big bat dude is we actually have this little walkthrough so this is a gas bag walkthrough this connects the flyers to the grasslands uh there's actually a couple different connections but this one you can actually walk through uh this little gas bag area which i really like i, I kind of like this area they kind of just vibe around they've got all their rocks they've got like a sort of extinction vibe but from there we then come out to this section which has a bunch of flyers so down here we actually have an rg just chilling um i've gave him sort of like the vulture vibe so dead trees like dead stuff in there there wasn't really too much i could do with him but i've done my best um let's head back down a little further so that's the way we would have come up by the way you'd walk up them steps we do also have this little section so this is the cinema crops now it's uh, a very lush jungle because the cinema crops are always in the jungle but you can walk here you can interact with the cinema crops you know i don't know give them some chitin or something but a very thick jungle vibe but uh, i think it works for them got double doors so they don't escape over this way we do have the micro raptors which these dudes always escape as well but they only escape to like this side of the wall and then that's it so it's really annoying 
Again, zookeepers will help us out there. But we've got the Microraptor enclosure just there. We have the Archeroptic enclosure just over that one, which has a bit of a Redwood vibe going on. We then have this magnificent, beautiful building, which is for the Quetzal. So the Quetzal is in there, but you've got to kind of come inside. He chills there. He does actually walk around from time to time, which they're not meant to do on foundations, but I guess this is a tree platform. So yeah, I don't know. I kind of did some ocean tree vibes for that dude, but I don't know. I kind of like that enclosure. And then we have this. So this is the flyer walkway. And this is the biggest hot mess ever. I wish I built this different, but it's too late now. So what we've got are Tranodons and Dimorphodons and Dodos. So to get these dudes to fly, we have Dimorphodons following Mosh Chops. We've got Tranodons following like Packies. Um, Dodos are knocking about. To get flies to fly, they have to follow Summit. So that's what that's why there's so many creatures in here. Just to get it to work like that. But um, yeah, it's a, another little walk area. But it's got loads of flies. Maybe they'll land on your shoulder. You can feed them some stuff. I don't know. I kind of like it. I just wish I did that one a little better. From here, we move over to the Tapahara. Who's chilling in there. We've also got a kangaroo, which is way out of his enclosure. Uh, over this way, we have the Fjord Hawks. You can see that dude perched on a, a little perch thing. Over this way is where the kangaroos are. So we've got the kangaroos in the middle. Now, when I'm saying in the middle, it's because this now leads to two different places. We've got the spacewalk or we've got the grasslands and the safari. So if we make our way up this way, we've also got the enforcers with a lot of tech stuff. Uh, this leads back down to like the Andrews and stuff. But uh, yeah, you can see an enforcer stuck in the tree. Loads of tech items around there. But if we start making our way up this way, we have another little pit stop area. Uh, this is more of a bar. You can come grab a drink, sit down. Another little balcony area where you can look down at the uh, kangaroos. Uh, you can see a bit of tapahara going on there. So if it wasn't raining, you know, it'd be nice in the sun and stuff. Uh, from here, though, we then... Actually, there's two ways here before I forget because I forgot I placed someone new. Uh, we have the griffin chilling in there, as you can see. Down here, we have the tropper, whatever they're called. You can see him just there. The flyer, he knocks about down there. But yeah, the griffin, we built that early on. A very good enclosure. But this now also leads to the spacewalk. So we also have this viewing platform over here for the griffin. He lives at the lighthouse. We've got some like dead bones around there somewhere. Just kind of griffin vibes. We've got a little lookout of here. You can see some of the creatures. But yeah, we now have the spacewalk. So I'm not going to show off too much in here. But it, pretty much you walk in here. And this has the dolphins. This has the space whale. They're going to be flying around. I feel like I've done a good job making it spacey and different looking with all the crystals. All the colored trees and stuff. I have no idea where I would put the massive huge space whale if it wasn't for this. So I feel like I've done the best I can without actually having a space biome. But I'm just going to say this. I'd recommend exploring that place for no, no reason at all. Just make sure you explore that if you ever come down here. So I feel like I showed off the whole park. Uh, if I did miss one or two creatures out, then I guess you're just going to have to explore that when the live stream happens. You're going to have to come and have a look yourself. So um, I did say there's a secret area. Now it's not so secret because I'm showing you it. But to get here is a massive secret and you're going to have to figure that out. It's not like you just walk across the map or spawn here. You actually, there's a way to get here. And you'll see what all these signs are and stuff. But um, yeah, I'll let you all discover that secret when you get here. So it's been a long video. I know it's been a long three years to make this whole area. So let's just recap. 23rd of October 2023 around 9, 10 a.m. Eastern time. The live stream will begin. Any money, any donations that come through that will be going to the Red Panda Network, which is the charity that looks after all the red pandas. Hopefully we can just kind of look after the pandas, man, because they're just the best creatures ever. Um, but yeah, the project is finally finished. And I'm really happy, boys, because it is taken a long, long time. Like I said, three goddamn years. I'm happy it's done. I'm happy it's all over. I'm proud of myself. I finally got this done and like stuck to it and stuff. So I guess, you know, if you did enjoy the video, if you enjoyed the park, make sure you're whacking a like, make sure you're subscribing, you ring the bell, never notifications. Hopefully I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, also, if you want to comment your favorite enclosure, you can whack that down in the comment section. 
And thank you very, very much for all the support over this series and the live streams and bearing with me because I know it took a very, very long time. But um, yeah, thank you very much. And um, yeah, I'll see you all on Monday. See you later.